Do you guys remember when I did the active track test with the Mavic Air 2? It was one of the most popular videos to date. Well, I'm in another forest today, but I've got the Air 2S with me with active track 4. Let's see how it does. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashton Droning on, and the latest instalment from DJI is the Air 2S, which has a beautiful one inch sensor on the front of it. But notably for me, and probably most exciting for me, is the new upwards and forwards facing obstacle avoidance sensors. Because when I tested Active Track on the Air 2, it was impressive. That was Active Track 3. This has Active Track 4, but not only that, it has additional sensors so that when it's flying at speed, this thing can see straight forward with dual optical obstacle avoidance. That means it can avoid trees and hopefully twigs of death as in this forest where I am right now. So we're gonna get this thing in the air, gonna get the app recording, gonna show you the SD card footage as well, and we'll see how it gets on. We'll start gently, but in this video, we're gonna push it to the extreme. Let's hope it doesn't crash. Okay, so the drone's in the air. So the first thing we're gonna do is enable active track. Draw a box around myself, like that. And we're gonna put it on active track mode. We're gonna use, um, let's see, close that. Active track and go. So it's now following me. Now remember this has APAS as well. And APAS is a really, really impressive technology whereby the drone will avoid things and hopefully not crash into me. So we're gonna take this gentle initially. Don't wanna push it too hard, too fast. You can hear the beeping, which is quite annoying from the controller. That's because it can see me. You can see it flying all over the place there. Whilst it's trying to follow me. Oh, oop. <laughs> now what we did find with the original Mavic Air 2 is that it didn't quite like it when you stopped. It likes you to keep moving. So I'm gonna try and keep moving here. I've got my finger on the pause button, just in case we need to stop it at any point. It's seeing the twigs of death here, but it is following us. It's doing very, very well there. Let's keep going. Gonna move a bit faster, hopefully it doesn't crash into this. <laughs> it's just above head height at the moment. Sorry about my bouncy camera work quite windy down here at the front as well. You can see it just avoided that big twig there, hopefully. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. So, so far so good. Let's go down this path here. See if it can follow me down here. I'm gonna go a bit faster now. Let's pick up the pace a bit. See if it avoids the twigs of death. Yeah, it's doing very well. Now, one thing I do notice is that it's definitely more sporty and agile than the previous active track. It's not hesitating as much. Those upwards obstacle avoidance not really being used at the moment because the drone's not facing forward. But that did pretty good. <laughs> Let's take it around here. And I'm gonna go through here at speed this time. Here we go. Let's see if it can keep track of me and not crash. I'm not even looking at it right now. How the hell did it get through there? <laughs> Somehow it did. And it's windy here, you know, it's really, really windy today. Now this is going to test it quite a bit, going through here, because this really is quite messy. Lots of twigs of death. And it's avoided them all. <laughs> Let's go through this tree. See what happens if I go through here. It probably won't like this. I'll be shocked if it comes through this gap. Oh my hell it did. <laughs> wow. That is impressive. <laughs> I know for sure. <laughs> wow. The Mavic 2 wouldn't have done that for sure. It would have had a heart attack. And the Air 2 would have tried and crashed. That's incredible. Right. Let's go around through here. Thank you. 
It looks so sporty when it's flying. <laughs> wow. Really, really impressed. Definitely, definitely more agile than the previous active tracks. It's taking more risks. Gonna take it really deep into the trees. Let's go for a run. Guys, hard work running, carrying all of this. Oh, it nearly crashed then. It nearly crashed. It's still got me in target. It's doing really, really well. Let's go running over this bridge. Got my finger on the pause button just in case. It's still following me. Hey! Oh, it nearly crashed into that tree. And it's still following me. <laughs> the locals laughing at me there, wondering what the hell is this crazy English man doing running through the forest. <laughs> and it's still following me, I can't lose it. Uh, right, let's go through here. This is a twig of death that even I can barely see. Can its obstacle avoidance sensor see it? Oh, oh it's trimming them. It, no, it did actually hit those. Um, but they are horrible little twigs of death. And it's trimming some, oh. And did you see that? It actually crashed then. But it's still, <laughs> it's still flying. It has actually, can it see me? Can it acquire me again? No, if I look at the screen on the app, it has actually lost me at that point. I can't say I'm surprised because that was a twig of death indeed. <laughs> Let's draw a box around myself again. Reacquire, active track, trace. Okay. Oh, even I crash into a twig of death then. It's probably a bit apprehensive now, I'd imagine. Active track, go. Okay, let's bring it a bit. Hope it doesn't crash into those again. Yeah, those twigs of death are deadly. Okay, let's get out of here because it is a bit deadly, even for me running around. Seems like I've scared it from following them. Oh no, it's keeping its distance. Can it get around this tree? Yep, there it goes. <laughs> let's go over here. Right, let's get it a bit higher up. Is it still following me? Yes, it is. It's just keeping its distance, isn't it? So let's see if I go around here, pick up the pace a bit gonna lose me in a minute if it doesn't follow quickly so you can see it's speeding up let's run and it seems to have yeah it's lost me okay to be fair um, I did have it a bit further away from me at that point that's possibly why ah, right there I am this is exhausting let's draw a box around myself again uh, active track, go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's run. And it is still following me there. See it flying along. <laughs> so basically, as with the earlier active tracks, this one really does like you to be going at speed. Let's just bring it closer. And we'll bring it further down. Still looking at me, still tracking me. There we go. <laughs> hey, yeah, as with the other active tracks, it really does like you to be moving at speed. So this is not an ideal test, but still. <sighs> there it is again. Right, let's do a bit of a speed run. So you're gonna be entirely on the drone's camera here because what I'm gonna do is just have the controller with me and we're gonna go at speed. Right, here we go. So fast, really, really fast this time. Now it's gonna be using those upwards obstacle avoidance sensors much more comprehensively. Still got my finger on the stop. So in general, 
That is, let's turn that off. That is pretty impressive. <laughs> now, I do think that this drone does suffer from a similar challenge as the Air 2 in that it doesn't have sideways sensing, which is, I think, a massive shame because it really, really would benefit from it when flying in places like this that do need sideways tracking because ultimately there's object, objects all around it and it does need to have visibility of them but of course it has no visibility of them without sideways obstacle avoidance but otherwise it did very very well let's have one more run back towards the seafront here we go I've got my finger on the stop button just in case <laughs> come on hurry up here it comes is it gonna hit the oh look at the swerve it just did very impressive. Hey, and through under the trees there, more branches of death. It's gone under. That's lovely. It's quite windy here now. Let's see if it can make it all the way to the sea. <laughs> and it is still with us. There it is. And it's pretty windy over here as well, but <laughs> overall, I would say that did very, very well. Active Track 4.0 is without question better than Active Track 3, and this test really does prove that. <laughs> oh, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you want to read more about this drone, then links are in the video description. In the meantime, keep watching this channel for a lot more. <laughs>